What's up guys, this is Cody here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to stream your PS4 games onto your Mac or PC. And this is actually a really simple process. This is going to be a feature with the new 3.5 software update for the PS4. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure on your PS4 that you have updated to 3.5. And this is actually available today, so you can do this today. Now, just to check uh, what version you're on, if you go into the settings, and then you go all the way down here to system, and then you're just going to click on system information. And then right there for system software, you should see 3.50. So at this point, that's all you have to do on your PS4. And now all you have to do is set it up for your Mac or PC. So here I'm going to be showing you how to set it up on your Mac. Of course, you can set this up on your PC. Like I said previously, it's pretty much the exact same process. But let's go ahead and jump into this. So really, all you need to do is just make sure that your PS4 is on 3.5, which we already did. And then you're going to go to this website right here. So this website is going to allow you to download the program that you need on your Mac or your PC, as you can see right here. So of course, I'm going to be downloading this for Mac just because I'm on my Mac. Now, keep in mind, just for prerequisites, if you have a Windows PC, you're going to want to be on 8.1 or Windows 10, and for Mac, you're gonna to wanna to be on OS X Yosemite or OS X El Capitan. Another thing that you wanna keep in mind is that you want a pretty high-speed internet connection. You can see right here that for best performance, we recommend a high-speed connection with upload and download speeds of at least 12 megabits per second. So we're gonna go ahead and download the Mac version. So if we click on this, you can see it'll start to download. It's a very small package. But if we go ahead and show that in our finder, I'm just gonna show you the install process. I've actually already uh, downloaded and installed this before. But if we go ahead and just double click on this, and again, this is gonna be the same for the uh, Windows version, just double click on the package and it should install. So we're gonna click continue, click continue, agree, continue once again, and then click install. Now I've already installed this, so I don't need to do this again. But once it's installed, you'll be able to access this in your applications on your Mac, or you can save it to your desktop on your PC and you can check it out there. So we're gonna go ahead and click on applications here and you can see PS4 Remote Play. So we'll double click on that to open it up. And at this point, you wanna connect your PS4 controller to your computer. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now, the first time you do this, you'll need to sign in. And after that, you probably won't have to do it. But you can see if we go ahead and click on preferences that you'll have to click sign in right here. And you'll also wanna change your video quality depending on what type of internet speed you have. So that's one of the caveats of being able to stream is you can only get up to 720p right here. And you can also get 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. So once you sign in, which I'll do right now, now this had my password saved so it didn't ask me for it, but you can just uh, sign in with your normal username and password here. Now at this point, we're going to click start. And if you're on the same network as your PS4, then it should automatically find it. Otherwise, if it doesn't find it, then you can manually connect it and it'll give you instructions on how to do that. You basically just go into the settings and then look for a unique identifier code that's going to allow you to connect directly to your computer and your PS4. So right here, you can see that we have a small window, but you can obviously make this full screen if you wanna do that. And then at this point, you can actually play your game. So everything is literally very, very fast. There's absolutely no input lag or latency or anything between uh, just my PS4 and my PC. So just to show you guys, I'm gonna jump into the division here, which I've been playing nonstop since release. And uh, I'll just show you some gameplay. So you can see that I got owned there, but at the same time, you can move your mouse right here and this is going to actually give you the ability 
to uh, you know press the PS button which is basically going to give you that UI that you would normally get if you press the PS button on your controller same thing goes for the share button as well as the options so this is going to give you basically your options as well as if you wanted to share to twitch or you stream or anything like that like I said before you do have the ability to enter the full screen mode right here uh, I actually minimized it a little bit just so I could actually get a decent FPS in terms of recording this on my Mac just because it looks really smooth as I'm playing it but the built-in QuickTime recorder just isn't able to keep up so overall, I think this is really awesome. It's really simple to set up and there's absolutely no input lag whatsoever that I experienced. Now the downsides here is obviously you have to have high speed internet connection. So you have to have at least 12 megabits up and down as well as you can only play in 720p, which that's not terrible, but at the same time, it's not ideal for me. I like to play at least at 1080p and in actuality, I probably should have bought the division on my PC. I only bought it on my PS4 so I could play with specific friends uh, that only had PS4. But that aside, if you have a PS4, it's definitely worth checking out. Obviously, it's free. You just got to update and then install that package and give it a shot. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to let me know in the comments section. And if you want to keep up to date with everything Apple as well as everything tech, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video.